Captain James Donaldson of the 9th Battalion Black Watch was the third son of James and Elizabeth Donaldson. He was born in Canby, Fife on the 6th of November 1878. James had many years service in the Volunteer Rifles, the original version of the TA, dating back to the turn of the century, when he had served in the Bankers Company of the Queen's Own Edinburgh Rifle Volunteers. When the South African War began, he went with the Volunteer Company of the Royal Scots, serving in South Africa between February 1900 and May 1901. He remained involved in the territorials after this, participating in the Royal Scottish Volunteer Review in Edinburgh in 1905, and he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in 1909. In September of that year, he joined the staff of the British Linen Bank and was appointed agent to the branch in Falkland in Fife. The following year, he married Helen Johnson Perry, with whom he would have four children. James was prominent in the public life of Falkland. He was a member of the town council, the school board and the parish council. Among other offices, he held the presidentship of the cricket club and secretaryships of the curling club and the gas company. He was also responsible for starting the local Boy Scout company, having previously been captain of the 33rd Edinburgh Company of the Boys Brigade. When war broke out, he returned to active service, and in December 1914 he was given a temporary promotion to captain in Falcon's local territorial battalion, the 7th Battalion Black Watch. It was sent to France as part of the 51st Highland Division in May 1915. On the 16th of June 1915, he was severely wounded in action, having to be rescued by a Sergeant John Lumsden, who carried him to safety while under heavy fire. Lumsden was awarded the Military Medal for his gallantry, but was to be killed in action a little over a year later at High Wood on the Somme. The injuries to James Donaldson included the loss of an eye, and as he believed he would not return to active service, he wrote a letter to the men of his platoons. My dear comrades, it now seems apparent, in the good grace of God, that I shall not be permitted to return to you. I regret this, but these things are not in our ordering, and before I return to Scotland, I want to send you a message of goodbye. During all the time I have been lying since my wound, the thought of you has been a source of comfort and satisfaction to me. He then went on to say, Continue to do your duty well, be loyal to your commanders, do not let privation or fatigue shake your spirit, keep up the reputation of the regiment, and remember what was recorded many years ago, that mothers, wives and sisters, when mourning the absence of their loved ones, would say, well, if I should never see his face again, he is the companion of brave soldiers and honourable men. He belongs to the Black Watch. Despite his fears that he would not return, James was in fact passed fit for active service, and he returned to the battalion in March 1916. Newspaper reports at the time noted that he received an enthusiastic welcome. It seemed like a breath from the homeland to have their beloved captain among them again, and the lads whom he had left nine months before cheered and cheered again, tossed their caps in the air, and in every possible manner demonstrated their delight at his return. On the 11th of May 1917, James joined the 9th Battalion of the Regiment on Attachment, and it was while serving with them that, three months later, on the 23rd of August 1917, he was killed in action. He was buried in Brandhook New Military Cemetery No. 3, near Ypres in Belgium. James is another of the men commemorated in our Lloyds Banking Group Memorial Project. If you'd like to know more about this project, there are links in the description below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please let us know in the comments, leave a like on this video, and of course, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.